Good morning, Karibuni Sana. Welcome back to Y254. This is Y in the Morning. Remember, today we are doing health on Monday. My name is Joy Mochache. You can find me on Twitter on Joy underscore Mochache. And in case you'd like to interact with this wonderful interaction that's going to be going on today, it's going to be a very interesting discussion. Please throw back your questions and your thoughts, Mama Onizako, on our Facebook and our Twitter. That's Y254 channel, as well as your, our Instagram. That's Y254 underscore channel. Today, we have back one of our wonderful psychologists is here to discuss a topic known as the male ego or understanding the male ego and his name is Dr. Ogonda. Karibu sana Dr. Ogonda. Asante sana. Yes, we're glad mm -hmm. to have you back. Thank you very much. Yes, it's a mm -hmm. cold morning out there but uh, there's some things we need to discuss. Uh, definitely. Yes. yes. And so today um, we thought it would be interesting to talk about the male ego because actually even when I was just interacting with some of my workmates. Yeah. A lot of the people around didn't know what a male ego was or that there is something as a male ego mm -hmm. and i thought that maybe the best thing we should do is to uh, have you explain to the people who are watching who don't understand what it is mm -hmm. what is a male ego well uh before i continue with your question okay um i would like to define the word ego in itself all right yeah uh, ego is a Latin word that refers to I mm. as a person. Mm. Yeah, but uh, in English, you'd say like a, a sense of uh, self-esteem. Sense of self-esteem. Or self-importance. Sense of self-esteem or self-importance. Yeah, it's something about you as okay. a person. Okay. 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 So that's that's why we talk about ego. It is self. Okay. Uh, mm. Before I continue further, I would like mm. to clarify that uh, mm -hmm. both male and female have ego. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad you said because that. Because we are human beings. Okay. Yeah. We share all the common characteristics mm -hmm. that human beings do have. Okay. But uh, the reason why ref we refer to this as a male ego. Because um, the the selfness in men is more pronounced than it is in women. Okay, so we would refer to it as uh, the male ego. We'll talk more about it as uh, time goes by. These are some of the uh, terms that um, uh, a psychoanalyst called Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud. Yes, he yes. was a psychoanalyst. Mm -hmm. uh, people who have done psychology, it is uh, under the theories of uh, personality. Okay. Yes, you will find Sigmund Freud talking about the id, the ego, and the super ego. Mm. Okay. Mm. The id, for example, is responsible for uh, taking care of our basic needs. These are parts of the mind. They are not parts of the brain. So the id is responsible for um, uh, taking care of our basic needs. I hope you know what our basic needs are. Yes, uh, food, water, you know, yes, sir. things that you need to survive. Mm -hmm. uh, the ego is um, the part of the mind that is real mm -hmm. and acts as a mediator between the id and the superego. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. this, it, so it is in between. It is in between. Yeah. It okay. is you yourself. You know, it is real. It right. is not something that is unconscious. Mm. Yeah. So it's not what people would say because sometimes I think they refer to the, to the ego as elusive. Because it, elusive then means it's an illusion sometimes. Mm -hmm. And um, before we go further, I'd yes. like you to go deeper into it and ego. Yeah. But then uh, you had said that both male and females do have it. Uh, yes, they do have it. And it's where I come from the school of, okay, no, I'm, I'm not a psychologist. So yes. I cannot give my opinion. Yeah. Uh, it would not be a proper opinion because mm -hmm. that's not my certified field. Yeah. So what I did was to research a little bit. And then I came, um, mm -hmm. I found a little bit of an imbalance, a little bit of a division. Yeah. There are psychiatrists, psychologists, and people from medical fields and medical practitioners that do believe yeah. that females have no ego that mm -hmm. is exclusive mm -hmm. to the male ego yeah and then there are those who subscribe to the same part as you mm -hmm. um, that yes it does occur in both yeah. um, genders male and female yeah. and uh, maybe we can go on to discuss the id and the 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 thoughts of Sigmund Freud and you can tie it up together yeah 
as I had mentioned earlier, the id is responsible for uh, satisfying our basic needs. And the ego uh, acts as a mediator between the id and the superego. Our superego is responsible for the perfection. Mm -hmm. It makes us do things perfectly. Mm. And also, it punishes misbehavior mm. by making you react in a certain way. Mm -hmm. For example, punishing misbehavior in the real sense, I would talk about uh, having an extramarital affair. Okay. Your superego will punish that act. Uh -huh. by making you feel guilty. Right. Yes. Mm. That is why you will see people uh, having, uh, what do you call, passwords in their phones. They <laughs> don't want their spouses. To, it is your super ego that is punishing that behavior by making you to know that what you are doing is not good. Mm. Okay. But so you're that, protecting it. Yes. Yeah. So that is the work of the super ego. Right. And uh, the ego itself acts as a, a balance between the id and uh, the superego. It is in between and mm. it is real. Mm -hmm. it, it is you yourself as a person, what you do. For example, if uh, we talk about uh, satisfying one basic need, mm. you are id, the part of the mind that will tell you that you are hungry. Mm. Okay, That is the id. The ego yourself, the real the real part of the mind that is dealing with yourself will make you go look for food. Right. Yes. Okay, okay. Mm. I see. Mm. And um, I'd like uh, for us to talk about maybe a few examples because you mentioned when you're describing, yeah. you've described the id mm. and what it's responsible for. Yeah. You now also describe the ego, what mm. it's responsible for. Yeah. And you also said that um, since our topic today is particularly focused not mm. on the basic needs, yeah. but yeah. so much on the ego, what we're calling yeah. the self-importance and mm. the importance of self-esteem, yeah. could we maybe go delve a little bit deeper into that? Mm. And um, first of all, I'd like if, if maybe you have an example um, mm that you can give, mm. and then after that, to explain exactly why you mentioned the words self-importance and self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, it just refers to self. Right. Yeah, the way you consider yourself as a human being. Then why, why isn't it just self-esteem? Why, why isn't it just self-esteem? Why uh, is it well, ego? It, it, uh, it encompasses both. It can either be self-importance or self-esteem, but in general, it is self. The other ones that we have added, we have, don't have to put much emphasis on them. The main thing is self. Mm -hmm. yeah, it means self, mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, can you come up with a question? Yes, again? I would like if you could give an example. Mm -hmm. um, when we're talking of a male ego, yeah, yeah, yes. what we are discussing about, uh, okay. apart from the extramarital one. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Fine. To understand male ego, we have to uh, first of all understand or get to know that uh, this is a term that has been used since the times immemorial. Mm -hmm. It is not something that uh, just came up like that. It is because of so many factors that uh, come up together that form the male ego. For example, it is just a belief, a cultural belief that our society has mm -hmm. about masculinity mm -hmm. and maleness. Mm -hmm. Men are expected to do important, difficult tasks. Okay? The society has created that um, that for um, for us to think that way. For example, when we were born, uh, I mean, when God made the earth, He first made the man. Culturally, people are set to believe mm -hmm. that man is more superior than the woman. In many cultures. In yes. many cultures. Yes. And that is why I can give an example. Even in a bedroom, you'll find the man sleeping the side next to the door, mm -hmm. 
mm. and the lady <laughs> sleeping on the wall. Mm. Yeah. The reason is the men, the society expects them to be stronger, caring, more powerful, doing more difficult things than the rest. And that is where the male ego develops. Apart from the, the notion of selfness or self-importance, there is a culture of beliefs in our society about how we should think about men and what they should be doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is what brings up uh, uh, the male uh, ego, mm. okay? the male selfness. Okay. Yeah. And I guess um, maybe we can focus on our country as you yes. know, just just to make things simpler. Yeah. Kenya, I do believe, is a patriarchal society. Definitely. Very patriarchal, yes. um, where men are everything. Uh -huh. Men are God's gift to women. Men are God's gift to the world. Mm. And it's kind of become like an accepted thing. Yeah. Recently, we saw situations where young ladies were being killed mm -hmm. by men yeah. because these ladies had decided to walk away from relationships. Mm. But the man decided that, no, I've invested too much and you deserve to die. Mm -hmm. And I'd like for you to, is there such thing as an ego when it comes to that school of thought where you have a society where taking lives of young people comes from, no, there's no way you can take that from me and walk away free. Mm -hmm. I will have to take something from you, even mm -hmm. if it means taking your life. Yeah. Do you think that describes a male ego? Um, uh, to some extent, yes, but to some other extent, I wouldn't think uh, that would be the case. What would be the case? Uh, that wouldn't be the case because mm -hmm. If you want to understand the male ego, mm -hmm. understand first of all what the society expects of a man. I think I talked about it. The society doesn't expect you to be too violent to be killing people. That is why I don't agree with it, that right. male ego might 100% be responsible for, you know, murdering of spouses and uh, whatever is happening in our country at the moment. I think when I was here last time, we talked about uh, uh, cumulative stress and depression, which have not been uh, addressed. That would lead to uh, battering of women, killing them, and that kind of stuff. But it is not, the ego does not show you to kill, okay? Of course. What we should know about ego is, the male ego, is the type of ego that the society has put on us. To the think. type of ego yeah, that, that the society, society has placed. Put, has placed on us to think about, you know, the, 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 the way the society has tamed us to think about the male ego, okay? I don't know whether you are getting me. Yes, I am, I am. Yeah. I am following. Please yeah. go on. So you will find that um, the society has put men on one side and put men on the other side. You will find that uh, men uh, just love sports automatically. And it could be football, boxing, and that kind of stuff. Women are always aloof to such kind of sports, okay? The reason why is that the society has made us think that difficult things or things that are extraneous should only be performed by men. So they are giving men more power to be on top of women. Mm -hmm. And that is the reason why I said partly it could contribute to the example you have just given, the things that are happening in Kenya, but not 100%. All right. Yes. Um, that's, your, that's your expertise opinion. Yeah. And um, if I could go to the root of it, mm -hmm. we have said this is a patriarchal society. Yeah. That means that if there are, if there is an ego that is a, that is being um, perceived on the mm. society, is being pushed on the society. Yes. That means it's not coming from the female side. Mm -hmm. If we're going to say that a male, a society is male dominated, yeah. that means that whatever rules, whatever laws, whatever they come up with, mm. will come from the male side. Mm -hmm. And so then, I feel like maybe everything you've discussed, mm. even if it's. Uh, 
the ego that mm -hmm. has been imposed upon us. Even yeah. that has been decided by men themselves, not yeah. by women. Uh -huh. Because like I said, this is a very um, um, male dominated society where we respect the opinions of men and take them uh, very seriously. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, in that sense, I would say that maybe uh, when it comes to, huh, maybe I can ask a question. Let yeah, me not yeah. say something. Yes. Let me ask mm -hmm. in that sense of what I've said. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's not 100% driven mm -hmm. by the male ego, yeah. but there is a male ego that is in there. And I do believe that uh, maybe the ones who do take murder weapons and kill people tend to have much bigger egos mm -hmm. than other men do. Mm -hmm. And I would like to say, although women do do the same and uh, commit the same acts of murder or do the same things, once in a while they commit adultery, mm -hmm. all sorts of things, that yes, there might be a little bit of pride within them, but I would still, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, stick to the school of thought that uh, yeah. there is an ego in there that is driving people to do certain things that females can't bring themselves to do. Mm -hmm. There's something that is missing within the women that the men have. Mm. Yeah. And that is why I think I told you, men have that. We have been given the powers, more powers than we should be given. By men. Uh, we should have. We are given more powers that we sh than we should have. And that is why. And also women validate this. Do you know that? I think it's a psychological issue because once you're so used to a society where you've been told you cannot lead, yeah. it reaches a point where you're too afraid to yeah. lead. It and is. so you'd rather vote for a man mm -hmm. than to take up a position and lead as a woman. Mm -hmm. Because in your mind, you're so used to men leading. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I get what you mean. But uh, there are certain ways that women also can come up and handle uh, this male ego. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think we should also look into that. Okay. Yeah. Because we are living in a society where men have been given the power and people have validated it, including the women. They have accepted that men are more stronger or are expected to do more important things. Is You'll it find acceptance that, uh, or brainwash? Well, is it really acceptance? Once you are brainwashed and you don't challenge it, then you have accepted. No, it takes time to recover. Yes, definitely. So you will find that um, when the government advertises jobs for the Kenya Army, you <laughs> will find you know what the consequences are. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. When. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the courses, people, the courses in the university. Uh -huh. The more difficult courses are always left for men, and you'll find that. Uh, for example, the other day we were watching television at home, and then there was a feature of a lady truck driver or something. Then I saw everybody in the house was like wondering, a truck driver, a lady. And I told them, what's the problem? She's a human being. I know. <laughs> she must be very special. Wow. Do you see? Yes. Because the society has ac ascribed certain roles for our gender. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tough things like driving trucks mm -hmm. or going to Somali, working as the army are ascribed to men. And this is what has shaped the way the men behave and think and consequently what they do. Mm. Yes. So society has shaped the way the men behave and think. Yeah, because of the what gender they do, roles. Even yes. the, their behaviors, what yes. they decide to say, yeah. how they decide to, to think. It. Yes. It's all because society has said, you as a man, yes. you must be this. Mm -hmm. And therefore that is stuck in the mind of the man. Yes. And he must carry that out. Yeah, that Although is, it's mm -hmm. not always the case. It's not always the case. Right. It, it is gender, gender role. No, gender are roles ascribed by the society yeah. to both both male and female. Right. So you'll find uh, when you find your son or a man in the kitchen, you'll ask him what he's doing there, as if he doesn't eat. You know, the society has given us some roles. The kitchen belongs to the woman. You know, a man should. I'd, I'm sorry, I'd like to stress the society, again, is the yes. men who have decided this. I don't think women one day woke up and said, as a man, you should never step foot in the kitchen, I doubt. It is, that's why I'm saying it is gender roles. Yeah. Gender roles 
are the roles that the society ascribes to both male and female. Okay? There are things that you should do in a society which men are not expected to do. That is by the society. Mm -hmm. There are things that um, a man should do that a woman is not expected to do. Mm -hmm. So people grow up knowing that this is what we are supposed to do, this is not what we, we are to do. Mm. So this is what brings the, this is what validates the male ego, makes the man, because... I was the, waiting for you to get to that point. Yeah, <laughs> so because I was we, we, can't, talk, yeah, we yeah. can't talk about it before knowing what gender role says about men and women. Yes, okay? and so as we're winding up, as mm. we're winding up, yeah. you have said that all this has finally come down to this is what validates the male ego. I, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when you're validating the male ego, mm. it, um, it it's something that you you are, like you said, society, number yeah. one. Mm -hmm. And also it validates your actions, validates mm -hmm. the way you do things, it validates the way you speak. And it, you say as a man, yes. this is how I should behave. And it, as a lady, yeah. You should do that. Yeah. You know? So, yes. yeah, so this is what validates the male ego, and you'll find that men are behaving that way. However, uh, in brief, w there's a way we should handle the male ego. Yes, uh -huh. you Thank know. You. In brief. Yeah, in brief. Mm -hmm. One of the things is for women to challenge this stereotype that uh, of maleness and masculinity. Amen. Yes, challenge <laughs> it. Yeah. Okay? If men are. Uh, Challenging it means involving yourself in the tasks that men are doing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You will realize that it is not something that the society has, or you are not born with it. You can always do it. It will change the, the, the perception that people think it's only men who should do this. Challenge those roles and involve yourself in those roles. Okay. I've seen women now being doctors, engineers, dra truck drivers, pilots. Previously, these were men's roles. Okay. Secondly, uh, be as close as you can to your partner. When you are close to him, or son, so yes. or whatever, a, yes. male, a male friend, yes. when you are more close to the person, the person opens up and will also do roles that a woman is supposed to do. For example, if you are close to your man enough, he'll help you wash clothes, <laughs> which the society thinks men should not do. But that would he be will beautiful. Cook. That would be wonderful. You know. Yes. So get as close as possible to him. You will find that he will be doing things that women are doing, which means the male ego can be challenged. These are Thank things that, that the society yes. has just made us to believe. Mm -hmm. Okay. A society created by men. Yeah, not really. Yes. <laughs> A yes. Society, the, rules were, you know, the rules were made by men. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. Society consists of both male and female, so uh, you never know. Well, the third thing, also try to empathize with the man. Mm. When he behaves that way, understand that he is behaving that way because he has been brought up in a society yeah. where men are expected to behave the way he behaves. And leave it be. Yes. Yeah. Empathize with him, put him yourself in, in his shoes. Mm -hmm. It's not because he wants to behave this way, but the society expects him to be that way. It's also very yeah. embedded in his head. Yeah. yeah. And you should also, fourthly, um, look at his sense of humor. Mm. Okay, the kind of jokes he gives you mm. or he jokes around, whether it is male or female. Mm. When he gives more jokes that are more demeaning yes. about women, Females. Yeah, yes, it, it shows that he's not ready to, 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 to mm -hmm. suppress his male ego. Mm. But when he gives jokes about good things about women, then it becomes very easy to handle this person. So I'm glad that you've identified a way to, to see a high male ego that joking in a demeaning way about women, women yeah, can say a lot, a lot about, about you. Yeah, yeah. Like this like all the jokes he he he's he can't he so can't go down. Her down. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. So look at those jokes at times and uh, you you know you will get to know what type this or whatever person this guy is. Hi, okay? Percy. Yes. Unfortunately, we have to completely wind up. It okay. looked like you have one more thing to say. Are you able to say it in one sentence? Um. <laughs> is it possible? <laughs> uh, we should also we should all learn to understand yes. the reason why men express their emotions yes. the way we do. 
you yeah. will find that men don't cry in public even though they mm. have emotions. Mm. This is because the society has made them to, to do that mm. so be that strong. they will be strong and not show any weakness. Mm. Okay, this is a very low, wide topic. Maybe when we, we have time have next too. time, yeah. we will uh, continue with where we have left now. Yes. yes. Thank you so much for thank listening. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And thank you for coming, Dr. Okonda. Thank you very much. We have been discussing the male ego, mm. elusive or not, it is there. And uh, divisive or not, there are places, you know, people that subscribe to different thoughts about it. But we are here to discuss and try to understand it. So let's remember to empathize with men who, you know, portray these signs to understand where they're coming from and leave it be. And also, if you're able to challenge those, um, challenge the male ego, please go ahead and do so. It's the only way to change what we're calling a patriarchal society. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for tuning in. And there's so much more we need to discuss. We might have a part two, but coming in next is Youth in Politics. Please do stay tuned in. Remember, this is Health on Monday, and I'm Joy Bochache. <laughs>